Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining us again. My next guest tonight has starred in Six Feet Under, The Newsroom, and Argo, but I will always love him is Dr. Danny Castellano from The Mindy Project. Please welcome Chris Messina. Nice to see you. We have not seen each other about 18 months or something like that since uh, I was a guest on the Mindy Project. That's right. I miss you. Well, I miss you too. I miss all of you guys. You were That's amazing the, on that, that show. That was an incredibly fun show to work on because you guys drink. We do. You we do. do. Not a joke. Not we were a like joke. in the middle of shooting on a Friday. You're like, yes, you want a cocktail? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm 50. I'll go to sleep if I have a cocktail. <laughs> um, the new season, uh, new episodes come out next month. No spoilers. Am I in any of it? I hope so. I hope so, That's, too. You were a fan. I loved acting with you. And I'm not just saying that because I'm on the show with you. I loved acting with you. We, we, they, they do this thing on the show, and they probably do it on all comedy shows. They do all comedy lines, alternative comedy lines that aren't in the script, and they throw them out. And they threw them at you like machine gun rapid fire. And you were incredible. You like home runs every time. And I was like, wow, that's how the show's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they would, they would try that with me, and then they would come over after many tries and say, like, let's stick to the original line, you know? So as a young actor, like, did you, like... Because I, I tried to be a serious actor when I was younger. I, had some, I did some terrible performances. Did you have any, like, sort of, like, oh, humbling it, early acting Tons, tons of them. Um, the first, the first uh, play I ever did, I was an understudy. Uh, it was a play called Sugar Down Billy Hoke. I'm sorry? Is that Sh sugar? soft softcore porn? What is that? <laughs> sugar Down Billy, Billy Hoke. Okay, were you Billy Hoke? I wasn't. I wasn't. I, I was, one of the characters was Billy, and I was, I understudied these two boys who were my age, about uh, 18 or 19. It's a three character play. Two boys and this older gentleman, he was in his 50s. Is this in New York? Where is it's it? It's in New York. Uh, not too far from here. And uh, the older man didn't like me that much. He kept calling me <laughs> Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So anyway, uh, he, the reviews come out, and um, the boys I was understudying, they did great. They were fantastic in the show, and he, he didn't do quite so well. The older fellow did. The older fellow, yeah. yeah. And uh, like any professional actor, he stopped showing up for work uh, several times. They kept canceling the show, and everybody was pissed off, as you might imagine. Is this a well-known actor? No. No, he's not. Um, <laughs> so anyway, one afternoon, he, he, he doesn't come to the show, and uh, I, I say, I'll go on for him. And again, I'm the understudy of the two boys, so I don't know. A, so you're going on for the old guy? Yes. Okay, the play, it, it takes place in a subway bathroom. Those don't exist, do they? A New York City subway bathroom? I would never go in one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If uh, someone says, join me in the subway bathroom, don't see, go down don't there. Don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> well, these kids end up in the bathroom somehow. There's a, some bad drug deal gone. And they sugar down. They sugar down. They yep. Billy Hoke. And uh, th this, this character, this 50-something-year-old guy is a homeless man. And, and the whole uh, uh, first act of the play, he's in a box. Uh, and after at like the a cardboard box, a cardboard box. Oh, you, don't, where he's you, you don't see him. Oh. So the, the two boys are kind of arguing about the drug deal that went bad. What happened? What's going on? We're going to do it. And at the end of the first act, he pops out of the cardboard box, ah, like this. And then that's the end of the first act. So the whole first act, I'm in the box, memorizing the lines. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know one line. The second act, at the climax, I say to these two boys. I'm your father. I'm your father. And uh, that was the climax of the play. It, it, was, it, it was a terrible moment, as it was just now when I, when I said it in here. Um, uh, I'm, I'm hooked. I'm totally hooked. I believe, I, believe, I believe it. You've got me. The next play I did, which I actually had a so part. that story's over? That story's kind okay. of over. Um, I, I had a part in this next play, and, and no one called me which was a great thing. And uh, there were, the stage manager said to me, hey, there's somebody uh, waiting for you. I thought I had a fan. I came out. Thought maybe I was going to sign a playbill or something. And he said, hey, did you go on one afternoon for Sugar Down Billy Hoke? <laughs> I said, yes, I did. 
He's like, that was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. How old are you at this point? I was like 18, 19 years old. Oh, you kept going. Good for you. Kept going. Good here, for you. And here we are. And now, and now, you're, you're on Broadway. This is Broadway, technically. You made it. And now you're in the new, and now you're in the new uh, Live by Night with Ben Affleck. That's it's right. the second Ben Affleck uh, movie. That's you true. Did Argo with him. That's right. He's kind of becoming, you know, the, the Matt Damon to your Ben Affleck, in a way. He you guys is. A lot yeah. Together. Yeah. Now you, I understand that you. Gained a lot of weight for this movie. How many? How, how many of the LBs you put on? I put on 40 pounds. What? Yeah. 40. How did you do it? Like fun? It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Was it like workout or just stuff your face? Just stuff my face. Beer, lots of beer, bagels, pasta. I, I would have a beer by the bedside table, and I woke up in the middle of the night to pee. I just chugged the beer. <laughs> It was fun. It was fun. It was. It was. Uh, yeah, I was like a hero on set because Affleck and the rest of the crew would be like, "How much do you weigh?" They feel my belly. Did they and... know you were going to do this? Is the, like they su was a surprise. I'm fat. Uh, <laughs> no. You know, uh, in in the book, the characters described as round, and I'm I'm Affleck's sidekick and kind of, believe it or not, his bodyguard. Yeah. And so I thought the only way to maybe do that was to, to have get some fat. bulk. Yeah, have some bulk. Well, we have a clip here of you, uh, I believe, meeting him at the train station and starting your uh, your bodyguarding. Yeah. Jim. Oh, ah! <laughs> mm. How you doing? Look at you. Look at you. Hey, sorry about you, man. Yeah, so it was your brother. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Listen, when Lefty Downer found me in Montreal and told me the Pescatories wanted me to come work for them. <laughs> I thought it was a straight bamboozle. <laughs> then I thought, if anyone could charm the devil, it's my old partner. Look at this. Would you look at this? Yeah. After you. Got it. I work for you now. Boss Joe Coughlin. Reach under the seat, and you'll find a friend. By the way, I could never get that, that car into the right gear. Anyway, never. Is it a real old car? Like it's a real car? old car, and you're trying to be a cool gangster, and I have a cigar in my mouth, and it's like... I kept oh. grinding. The owners of those antique cars love it when you grind the gears. Yeah, they love that. They just love it. They love it. Well, Chris, lovely to see you. Great to see you. Thanks Happy for having New me. Happy New Year. Uh, Live by Night opens nationwide next Friday. Cheers. Christmas Eve, everybody. We'll be right back with comedian Jen Kirkman. Stick around.